So I'm gonna show you guys my protein oats recipe. This is really fast and easy. We're gonna get this two thirds of a scoop. Um, you could also use half a scoop. Uh, one serving on the uh, oats. You could use whole, uh, quick cooking oats. I think it's called old fashioned. There you go, old fashioned or rolled oats or whatever. Uh, you can see one half of a cup is one serving. I'm using two thirds of a cup because I am bulking. We're gonna get this. Boom, and that's 225 calories of just oats. Now we're gonna pour some milk in. Uh, I just started going lactose free, so that's what I'm using, but if you're not lactose, uh, go ahead, buy the real real thing. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper that way as well. 130 calories, we'll say, we'll add a cup. You just want it where it's like barely swimming. I'm gonna add a little more, I think. Now the package says microwave for two minutes for each serving. I think it's a little underestimated, so I'm gonna do four minutes. If you guys are doing one serving, then I'm gonna do uh, three minutes. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one ingredient, that would be berries. Uh, you guys, if you have them, some frozen berries is Cheaper than uh, fresh berries, and you can throw them in. I like to throw them in before I put them in the microwave, so I'm gonna do that right now. And that adds just more flavor and also more nutrients. Highly recommended. Okay, just got done, and here's how it's looking so far. Right, it doesn't look appetizing yet, but we'll fix that. 350 calories with the milk and the oats combined. Then we added the berries, so we're gonna round and put that at 400 calories. And now I like to add a dark chocolate square to it. So it says each piece is 70 calories, so this can add 70. And remember this, I'm personally going to add every ingredient that you could really add to oatmeal. Um, you could add, the reason why I like oatmeal so much is because you could add so many different things to it. Uh, it's really up to you. Get this dark chocolate in there so it starts to melt. And then we're gonna throw some peanut butter in. I added two servings of peanut butter, which added another 280 calories, plus the dark chocolate, which was 70 calories. And now we are at 750 calories. So I'm going to add, like I said, every possible thing you could add, except Greek yogurt. Uh, I used to add Greek yogurt to my oatmeal, but that was before I found out I was lactose. So if you guys aren't lactose, go ahead, add Greek yogurt too if you want. Now we're going to add honey. And again, I'm just gonna round to make it easy on myself and say the honey added 50 calories. So this puts us at 800 calories. In case you are wondering, I am using raw honey. Now, if you were cutting, you guys would not use the dark chocolate. You probably wouldn't use the peanut butter, but this is one um, option you could do. I'm not gonna add it. PB2 is great. A great substitute for peanut butter it has like one third the calories that peanut butter has and it keeps the protein. So the last and main ingredient is half a scoop of protein powder. I like to use six star. It's a very cheap. Um, I get it at Winco for 20 bucks and each serving is 30 grams of protein and it's only one scoop. A lot of um, protein powders will trick you saying it's 30 grams of protein or 50 grams of protein, but then you look at the serving size and it's for two scoops. This one is one scoop and each scoop is having 30 grams of protein, 18 servings per container, um, very good deal. I highly recommend this. The ingredients on it aren't very great, but it's, it's still whey protein. Hey guys, right when you thought this was done, we're at 900 calories, so we might as well make it a thousand. Another thing I like to add is some a cereal of your choice. I'm just using this certain brand because look at how many uh, different vitamins and minerals it is fortified with pretty good i the main one i like is the iron 80 percent whenever i look for a cereal i try to look at the iron content for serving size and yeah that's really good so we're just gonna add some of this in to finish it off and we'll top it off saying it's at a thousand calories okay and at the end of my calculations i got 47 grams of protein for nearly a thousand calories if i wanted to i could have added a whole scoop of protein powder and that would have boosted up the protein content but I really don't need much more. It's gonna be easy for me to hit my protein goal for the rest of the day, starting a morning off like this. 
but yeah that's the end of the video i hope you guys liked uh please like share comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys later peace